um, turquoise is my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today our topics are um, Chloe from Chloe and Haley. Um, her social media posts apparently is too racy and people are going crazy about it. Camille Wynn Bush from the Bernie Mac show um, wanting to start an OnlyFans account and being criticized. Mm -hmm. Little Uzi Vert and his dumb investment. I don't want to say investment because he's not getting paid That's to pay for it. Uh, splurge purchase and then the nine year old girl who was pepper sprayed um, with mace. I believe she was in Michigan. I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know it's, I think it was, uh, it's called Rochester or Richmond, no, Richmond. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure where Richmond is, but yeah, that's. Well, there's a Richmond in Virginia. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was Virginia or where, but I know it, because it was Richmond police. I can tell you right now, Rochester, New York. Rochester, okay, so I was wrong. Okay, so, um, apparently the nine-year-old black girl um, was starting to commit suicide, wanted to kill her mom. Um, and so her mom called the cops, in which her mom stated it was more so for her to receive uh, treatment for mental illness and not to be arrested or detained. And um, they end up, three officers end up pepper spraying her. So, comment, Sneezy, what would you like to say? How you I, feel about it? I have a lot to say about it. it. It says a lot when you see what's going on with like, especially with the insurrection and how the police responded to them. This little girl is having a mental health crisis. Mm -hmm. She needed help. She didn't need to be treated that way. And she's a child at that. You don't even do that with uh, you don't even do that with grown folks, you know, like y'all didn't do that with the people at the Capitol, Capitol yeah. but um, they all went home. They had to go find them. But what's crazy though to me is why is that, and you know, it's sad that people don't know who to call but the police. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, you know, be mad at the mom for calling the police. She didn't know what else to do. But at the same time, why is, why is it always the reaction to use some type of force? Instead of comfort, where's the compassion? Like, even people be have compassion for people on the street, even if it's not your job. I don't get why that's always the go-to for police for them to use violence or, or or to be rough with people. I don't get that. And I know that they have the ability to restrain themselves. If if Dylan Roof could be taken and put on a bulletproof vest and given Burger King after killing nine people, you can definitely you know show some comfort to a nine-year-old girl having a mental breakdown. It's when you black. And, and, and that's another thing, you know, I, I was like, maybe I shouldn't go there, but I, you can't help but to. It's like, and then this proves a lot of the point. You can't look at the difference in how we get treated and say that it's not racism. Like, if you're, if you're saying that it doesn't exist here, at this point, you're being in your own purpose. Because mm -hmm. it's so blatant. And that's why they say they need to defund the police. It's not that we don't want police. We want better police. Yes. You know, somebody need to police the police. And it's sad, but they need to train them how to deal with people with mental health. They need to train them how to deal with domestic violence. They need to train them how they to deal with all They would either need to do that, that, or they can, you know, hire another facility or have, make a hotline available where you can get help for people with mental health. Why does it always have to be the police? The police yeah. You know, provides, that's another thing that why people say there should be police reform because you know some of those funds that we give to police can be used for mental health care people to go out to homes to be called and made available for people that truly need the help mm -hmm. it's not it's not right that we continue to brutalize people especially when they need help i agree and then she's only nine years mm -hmm. old and a child you a know child. so it definitely could have been a different way to handle it. And then I saw a part of the video and she was screaming, I want my dad, yes. I want my dad. I would say the best thing someone could have done when an officer just pulled her to the side, had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Or just keep her confident. Yeah, have that. a one-on-one yeah, one -on -one conversation. Let her know everything's gonna be okay, not detain her, not attack her. Um, so while we're waiting for viewers to tune in, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion about that. Any other thing you 
Well, I, I want to say that it, it's very telling that, you know, you see a grown man storm the Capitol with his little mm -hmm. costume on. Nobody thought to, you know, step her pepper spray him, and he was literally committing a crime. Mm -hmm. This little girl was having a breakdown. She had committed no crime. Mm -hmm. She was so threatening true. to harm herself. She was threatening to harm her mom. That's she so was true. having a mental crisis. She was not committing a crime. And y'all responded to her that way instead of like uh, trying to uplift her, show her some comfort. You know, let her know it's going to be okay. Her to the side property and talk to her. She yeah, that's what I'm she saying. Was a that's what I'm girl. saying. Pull her to why, the side. Why? Why the force? I don't get the force. Because they like to treat us like we ain't human. See what's really going on with her. You know what I mean? Right. You're supposed to. Well, people. The idea of police is they're there to help. They're really not there to help. And then mm -hmm. I, I bring up my job a lot. Because you have but, to work in these types of situations. But yeah, I would have pulled her aside, had a conversation with her, maybe offer her to go get some lunch. You know, you just you just never know. Fill out a situation and then see what you can do. I definitely would not have pepper sprayed or detained her or anything. Then they had her all on the ground. It was sad. I, it was. I and then they were they were suspended, yeah. But they probably got suspended with pay. They just didn't say that. Pay it shouldn't be where they get suspended. When they act like that, they should be fired right mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. I agree. Right away, and then that would stop you. If because if you can't Treat handle a nine-year-old girl, you do not need to be a police officer. And then um, I think you were touching on it a little bit, but like the char the was it Charleston church yes. shooting? The, he, he, he was taking he those bird people. people. He was like they handled that situation way more better. But then he killed the black people girl. and one yeah. white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he literally was committing a crime. This little girl was not. And he crime. had a gun, and she didn't even have no weapon. No. Because I think, she, but she was having a uh, uh, he said, uh, Carlton okay. Carter said because she was out of control. Didn't she threaten to kill her mom or something? She threatened to commit suicide and harm her mom. She was having a mental breakdown. It's a nine-year-old girl. A nine-year-old girl. You don't punish somebody having a mental breakdown. He says, uh, you try to Carlton help them. says stop defending these badass kids and start holding the parents account accountable. Um. Being her, okay, let's say my daughter, if she was having a mental breakdown, I probably myself would have just drove her to a hospital wait a minute. to get mental treatment. Are you um, saying I, that a, oh, sorry, a child ahead. having a mental breakdown is punishable? That You he don't have her, no kids. He no literally kids. called her a badass Yes, kid. he called her a badass because she was having a mental and breakdown. And you don't know why and she this was is having it. To me because I, a grown-ass woman, had a mental breakdown not too long ago. And I had my sister and my niece, they helped me. They didn't call, they didn't pepper spray me. They didn't try to fight me. They didn't think I needed to be punished. They saw that I just was having a moment. And this and girl then, was having a moment. And then also, I don't, I don't know the full, full story. I didn't read the you know full article, but what was the mom's position? What was going on to make the Apparently young lady? Apparently something happened with the mom and the dad where the dad did something to the mom's car and they got into it and the little girl responded like that she didn't want her dad to go mm. she had she freaked out that's according to sources is that something would happen between the mom and the dad and that's what caused the little girl to break down yeah she probably just needed her parents to she, get it together she, she okay. wanted yeah she just wanted yeah and she that's why she was calling for her father she yeah. wanted her father and that doesn't mean there's something wrong with her and that she needs to get yeah, more strained. Uh, yeah, that's another that thing. She's bad either. Especially anybody, the, can have, uh, anybody can have a mental breakdown. Anybody. Especially in the black community. That's why people don't like yeah. to step up and say, I need there's help. There's always something Some, wrong with us. Yeah, I, I need help. You know, I'm not feeling right. Yeah. Because the, the way where the response. It's yeah, not a good if response. that's the response that yeah, we get, yeah. that oh something is wrong with you, you should be punished, or you need to, you, uh, they want to restrain you and put you in chains instead of comforting you and helping you get better. This girl needed help. You we can have, have a, you can have a mental breakdown. Anybody, at any age. anybody can have. A and then you never breakdown. know. Maybe she's having a hard time in school. Maybe she's been bullied, and then to come home, I don't know. She's you know coming home, but to have your your home situation not also be what right. you wanted to be. That, that's a lot of pressure on some, uh, especially on a kid. And this is why so therapy is not popular yeah. in the black community. We, exactly. We, she needed therapy and yep. counseling. She like you never know what else spray. she had going on. And then that was probably like the final straw to where she just broke down. You know, like, let's see. I must have been she said, "I heard a question yeah, because he, she said he told her she was. I, I, heard, I watched the whole video in its entirety, sir. And uh, the cop said to her, 'You're acting like a child.' She said, 'I am a child. What the fuck?' 
So the hell was she cursed? She's having a mental breakdown. Did you not just hear anything we just said? She's having a mental breakdown. So what? She said a bad word. That does not mean she needs to be punished. She needs counseling. She needs therapy. She needs help. That's what she needs. The parents do bear responsibility because the parents' actions is what caused her to have a mental breakdown. Because it was her parents' dispute that caused her to break down. Uh -huh. Then her mom even put out a statement after the fact that the video uh, went viral stating that she just wanted her to receive mental treatment, treatment for her illness, mental illness. And that's why not her mom be, called that? Because yeah, not to but, be maintained. But I don't know, but if it was me, I probably nine years old, I don't know if I would have called I'll, the police. I'll post it on our page so you guys can see the video. But I don't I know, know you know, I don't know if I would have called the police because they don't come to help, they come to hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, you know. yeah that's the thing. So I know she didn't have that many choices, but I probably would have told her, hey, I'll take you to your dad if mm -hmm. that's what she wants. You don't have to kill me, and you don't have to kill yourself. I'll drive you over there. Always other options. That, that we need to help our children. Punishing our children ain't helping. And yeah, Everybody wants to spank and beat their kids, and but, it clearly ain't working. The community is in shambles. But to say mental illness at nine, come on, really? You know how you have mental illness at any. Yes, a six-year-old committed suicide for being bullied at school, elementary school. That shows, if a child can commit suicide, that shows, that's a mental, mental illness. illness. But a lot of kids at school, when they get bullied. Them teachers don't help, and yeah. then parents Maybe don't have it because a, a back assistance. in the day when y'all were growing up, I could talk to the parent. You can't see the bully. It's hard to stop your kid from being bullied unless you take other options like it's to homeschool or something like that. Because nowadays it's not one person; it's like five and six. Of little kid you know but i don't think they could should commit suicide but hey i'm not but that, but that do goes it. to show you children are people too they have emotions too they can have mental breakdowns too yeah. so they're saying that at nine years old come on now like you, you saying you had all your shit together at nine years old <laughs> no no come on now but again, Ooh, Macy Rowland and that, 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 that didn't make no sense but, at all to say because again, she's nine. First is, oh, we need to punish these kids. They nine years old. They bad. So you're saying something wrong with them mentally. Why are they bad? Why do they deserve punishment? Something is wrong with them mentally. Oh, mental illnesses at nine years old. Come on now. So what do you think they are? Just animals? Animals that need to be whipped? What the hell do you think they are? They're children. They have minds the same as you. And you were a child once. Then that's crazy. also the best time to shape. Someone. Exactly. You know, that that's when they're the most vulnerable. Yeah. Is when they're yeah. little because they're impressionable and they're looking for their parents to teach them. They need guidance, mm -hmm. and that's why therapy and counseling, all of it. That's why they had counselors in school mm -hmm. because kids need help. Mm -hmm. They don't know it. help. It's our job to help them, not punish them. Sir, I'm reading a comment. Anyway, let's move on to the next subject. <laughs> okay, so next topic, Chloe Bailey. Who I not I always say her sister name wrong. Is it Haley? It's uh Chloe Chloe and Haley Bailey. Bailey. Okay, so they're signed to Beyonce or Beyonce have signed them or whatever, but Chloe has been posting some racy pictures on social media and apparently it has everyone in a uproar outrage. Um so one was like what was it? I think you said it started the silhouette. Challenge. Like she started the silhouette show. Okay, so it's her dancing, is mm -hmm. what I saw. Yeah. Um, and then there's a video of her going around with Sage um, in her underwear and T-shirt. Now I will say, to each his own. Whatever you want to post on your social media account is up to you. But me personally, I definitely would not be in my underwear and a T-shirt lighting Sage. It just seems. That seems like it doesn't have a, 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 a point. Like, what's the point of that? What's the, what's the benefit of being posting that? If you want to be half naked, why don't you wear a bathing suit? What is with people <laughs> posing in their drawers in their bra? Get, put on a damn bathing suit. Like, it's another way to be sexy without showing a, You know what I mean? Put like, on a bathing underwear, suit because underwear. I just, I just wouldn't mm -hmm. do it in my underwear. Mm -hmm. But well, anyway, she had 
a little breakdown. She posted oh. a video crying. And but I you just, know what? If she going to post stuff like that, she can't care what other people think. You know, if you going to post whatever you want to on your page, people going to be stupid but, and say but stuff. But one thing, her page is private, so it's not just open her to everybody. Her page isn't private. Her I, don't, is I private. don't follow her and I pull up her page. Well, this, these videos were posted on her private page. It's, yeah, she has an account with her and her sister, and then there's an account that she has by herself. No, she said it's not open to public. Like, you have to friend request her to see this stuff. I saw it, and I don't think I she saw it. Or somebody could have copied and shared it on no, another page. I did mean, follow the girl. I don't but, know. But, but anyway, the did. fact of the matter is, a lot of what... <laughs> Because she know she's been doing music since she was a little kid. They grown now. First of all, she can do whatever the hell she wants. She's over. She's twenty past twenty one. She can do whatever the hell she wants. She's a grown woman. That's first and foremost. Stop. Get your idea of what she used to be Stay as a kid. You know, on, let, let her do whatever she day. wants to do. She's a grown. That if she wants, just like people are free to do porn. You don't have to look at it. Yeah, but okay. But to I, attack this girl, no, is she, I don't she didn't deserve she to be attacked. But I do post a little, but not like that. I'll never be kind of my underwear and my bra I may show boob hair. That's because you're this. different. I mean, but, we're all different. But what? It, but to me, when you post something, if you're not doing it to for likes, then what is? What's your reason? Well, she's for doing a celebrity. It? She's doing. But it I mean, in, your, in her draws, she could have had on shorts. I would have had on a bathing suit if I wanted to. Be. <laughs> I don't see a difference in that. Because you go out and swim in a bathing suit, everybody see you in a bathing suit. Not really, because everybody don't they see you in you your drawers and your pants. They fit you the same way. Okay, but everybody don't see you in your drawers and your pants. But I mean, I get the point. People go to the beach. In swimming suits, everybody sees you. And it matches. It's cute. I'm just saying, though, what is the point of doing it in your drawers? And it's hey, it's I'm, I don't know why anybody does anything. You know what? That should lead us to. Anything. They can but they shouldn't they drag want. her like talk but about She don't it, deserve though. to, like, because if you turn around because she used to be a kid, she. Y'all used to be a kid. Y'all used to see her as a kid. Y'all used to see her as a kid. Y'all used to see her as a kid. You just don't like the idea that she's grown and up. And to be that's honest, not her problem. she never, she was not like she came out when she was like seven. No, I mean, she, she came like out as a 12, teenager. 13. Wasn't she like a teenager? Yeah, she that's was. That is what's still, but. Dang, like I think it could have been done in a, in, a better, anything, in a better though. way. She's not selling anything. I just don't see the point. She's just doing her thing on her page. It's I think from her, her, from her her sharing it on her page to she make it open, she felt though. like, you know, that's me expressing myself and showing that she I'm confident in myself. So and she, 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 she used to and have she low self-esteem, and I'm like, girl, do you? I wish I had a body like that. She She's has beautiful. a few I, I would not, I don't think anybody should be. What is she? Selling. Right, she ain't selling that. No, people like looking at, like, she's going to get more streams. Uh, she'll get more streams than a girl wearing a granny suit. Like, because I they want to see her. Suit, not no, a granny. no, I'm, I'm saying, like, if you wearing a long granny nightgown, that girl is liable to get less. Okay. Entertainment. Yeah, but then, okay, so you should be able to handle the criticism. If you're gonna post things like that because you're an entertainer and you're trying to promote yourself, human beings is this no. I get that, but I'm saying to be hated on. No, I get that, but I'm saying you, you, you should look at the way things People hate them when they're yeah. even doing that. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, you should expect it. I wouldn't just let it get me down. If that's what I want to do on my page, I did it. Oh well, so what? Well. Yeah. I'm sure she's gonna continue to do. Some people gonna like it and some people ain't. It ain't they. You ain't gonna please everybody. That's impossible. It's impossible to please everybody. Jesus Christ couldn't please oh, everybody. I was just he thinking of like my mom used to always say, they talked about Jesus Christ, girl, you think they want to And he, he was perfect. <laughs> even if it's like, even if she would have done like a cute little picture, 
I think that would have been better than posting a video of you in your drawers because I just looked at more thirsty. I don't know. But I like her. I, I mean, I don't say Yeah, anything. I say go. I say go, okay. Chloe, because you go, you got a girl, you go. And then like Lizzo, because when we posted, Lizzo too, she didn't make videos and posted pictures of her with her butt in the air, like bare butt. But, the but I don't have a problem with people being different sizes, but some place you should dress like you are. Yeah. Coming out, nobody don't want an airport. I don't care if you got the best shape yeah, ever. I don't want to see nobody in no see-through dress. You get mad, but that's what you're walking around You're right, they do grow up, Brandy. I think it's a better... Yep. Yeah, you're right, Brandy. You're absolutely right. But, yeah, I mean, even without Lizzo, even girls that don't, like, with Chloe, for instance, like, even girls like, say, Meg Thee Stallion, that's her gimmick. She She's the twerking rapper. She's always... And she wouldn't be able to sell it if people weren't buying it. I also don't think she's a good rapper. I mean, she's no, no, her everybody. songs is catchy. Uh -huh. Mama, hold on. Cause Cause I think talk you, about this. I girl I think you're getting ready to sing somebody else's song and it'd be her. Mom, me and you talk about this girl rap style together. I like well, Meg. Me. I mean, I don't like all of her songs, but I like Meg. And again, I say, do you? But I think that should we should leave that to Little Uzi. Yeah, Little Uzi Vert. You know this man did. And put into his forehead. So it's like, how you, how do, first of all, he could have bought properties with that money, bought land, well, what, rebuild Black what Wall Street. That's a lot of money. Not twenty-four million dollars. Told him that that shit but who was who in his 20, head. Who, oh, well, okay. The what doctor? Was doctor? That doctor should be. He won't. Everybody do things. Do for you money. know what you can do to help? Poor people would yeah, twenty million. million dollars. That's you know how that's, that is for the diamond is for him. then he says today and that he if he wants to get it removed because you know he's worried about something that he could possibly die on the surgery of, to get it removed. Oh my god! And I'm like, Why they wait a minute. So you that? just spent twenty four million dollars to to risk your life so that people can think you rich. And you then what if somebody was trying to rob him? They would have. Yeah, I said, so what if somebody were to sit him down and like rip it out of his head? Like, because that's $24 million. Are you kidding me? That's like, I'm like, and I get, I get people want to stunt when they have money and all of that. You know, you want to buy the right jewelry. way. No, but oh, you see what money. happened when you be stunting, buying them chains, they snatch them off your neck, oh neck God. and stuff. Do you think they won't set your ass down and cut off that your off? Yeah, head? yeah. Not only that, but this is why business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this is, is why a lot of Wall rappers when they you know, get less popular, they go broke because they do yeah. shit like this. Yeah. Like, you could have did so much more. And But even though I'm saying, like, I think people should be able to do what they want to do. That's, that's true. But, that's, though, but, that's, right? but that's crazy, though. Like, you could have did so much more. Like You, you should have just got him some glasses like we got his bling. That's all he should have did. But, got him. That do this. The richest people in the world wear, like, Walmart clothes, and, you know, they don't do that stuff and they're the richest people in the world they usually don't do this type of shit and people wonder why there is no generational wealth why everybody like, goes yeah. up and shit like that did you mention uh yeah, like the bling bling. did you mention bill gates bill gates they walking around wearing Wear regular slacks, shoes regular no name shoes, brand no name you spent 24 but million people, dollars to almost people die this for color, diamond people of this color value materialistic things yeah. over yeah, because they want to start and show they, business okay. and took care. Of, that's what I was going to say. Generations of his family. Yeah, you, you, you didn't yeah, help you nobody but your family. Your but kids, you could have did so much kids. for them. Yeah, he don't got nobody. And people in the comments saying how he, were, who were the people on his team that didn't tell him, you know. They People, he says, Ronald Trump. Yeah, they yes people. They ain't gonna stop. It's like I never want to stunt that hard. Never, never. Mm -hmm. That's crazy to me. 
Me either. I'd rather spend it the right way. I'd rather invest, build a business. That's what I'm So you could have bought a whole job. lot of land and built businesses and homes. Park so you could have built a whole community mm -hmm. for twenty-four million dollars. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And your money would have been coming in. And you would, and yeah, exactly. You would have continued to make that twenty-four million grow if you had did something like that. Who is sad? It's sad. You hate to see it. The wrong people get the money. I swear. Yeah, because <laughs> let, let, let me go get some money. Let me go put on these underwear. And walk around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should bring us to our next topic. What's her name? Camille Wimbush. Uh, Camille from the Bernie Mac show. So she says she wants to start an OnlyFans account, which is honestly mainly known for like pornographic videos and pictures. But you can do other things on that site. So especially like during COVID times, celebrities don't allow them to have the opportunity to like work on movies, you know, show. She's the oldest dar uh, daughter. The niece. The niece. Oh, oldest uh, niece. Oh, okay. And apparently she. Everything I said because yeah. I'm giving away shit for free. I ain't even paying none of my pictures on Instagram. Or and you can literally start up with OnlyFans and only cook. You can only, you know, clean. Yeah. You, can do, you can do anything. A lot of people just associate. They hear OnlyFans and they think, oh, oh it's no, for, because it's known for there are you can have yeah. people on there that do that. But you don't have to start an OnlyFans for that. Like, and she didn't imply that that's what she. Her comments like, oh, Bernie Mac is rolling over in his grave and blah, blah, blah. Just attacking the girl. I'm, she grown she's now. a grown-ass she, woman. She's 31. She's a grown-ass woman. She could do what she wants. But why do to people say, think they get older and wiser? And, and everybody else stays the same. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's crazy. I do what I want. But hey, any, I, said, I would recommend that anybody... You know, OnlyFans, if you can make money for people to see pictures of you, your content, Like I said, we all do it for free anyway with Facebook Shoot. and Instagram. I, I encourage everybody to do that. Get that money. If somebody gonna pay to look at you and see what you up to, get that money. Let me go start one after this show. Go get that money. No, money is not real. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. He's trying to get that no, 24 no, million. No, He's trying to get that 24 no, million. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, and it, um, we're gonna, any other comments or anything else to say about those topics? We, um, about their sexual abuse allegations. And so it looks like um, T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle suspended production. Yeah. What? Yeah, because of those allegations. Oh, I like that. And you know what, they're well, saying that there's evidence piling up. But you know what, I, I always thought, because they used to, Tiny used to always say she gives T.I. three sons because she'd rather be involved in having cheat. Mm. So, not saying that's a legit reason, but... But, but I don't believe that. I mean, because why would you have your kid there? What they need to do is like when Candy... They told that lie on Candy about that dungeon, dungeon. and she opened that dungeon. Now, if Candy do anything in that dungeon, she make y'all sign papers that it won't be no problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what. Uh, uh, where they? Uh, Ti, he's so smart. He should have thought of that. But I just don't believe it because if it was that bad. Oh yeah, she did. She had her sons around him. She did. Did y'all show me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She with did. The, with the kids, uh, boy. It's always like that. It's like like with the parents that accused Michael Jackson. Like they were taking him around. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't I don't get that. Mm -hmm. I don't get that at all. I mean, it's I I hate to see that this is true, but you know if they got the evidence that they've been doing this, that that's sad. That's and really sorry, sad. I'm keep I keep looking down at my phone. I'm pulling up our stories and also looking at the comments. So. Not trying to be rude because I have my phone up here sometimes. But, um, yeah, that is strange to me. Like, how you have your kids around someone that is I mean, if they that bad. Stockholm Syndrome. True. What's and that? then perhaps that's when you love your abuser. Yeah. So. And then also probably want that attention. Like, oh, I know T.I. You, you know, know it, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. It's but weird. he beat me and I have to have sex with him and his wife. 
celebrities and for a piece of change, you know. <laughs> so, that's um, true. That's true. Okay. But I need to find a way to get me phone million dollars. I can I can read like I get auto biography books on the OnlyFans. T okay, Carlton said T I and Tiny <coughs> are the coons who behind closed doors of Bob Trump. Oh, did they? Because it's all about the Benjamins. Did they support? I don't think he support Trump. That's just something somebody saying to be silly. Yeah, because he was on one of them panels with Killer Mike. I really like him. He's awesome. But anyways, what else happened this week, ladies? So y'all see how uh, Florida, I have the story up. Sorry, I'm, I keep going back and forth. They vote to make the first week of February Donald Trump week. Did you guys see that? I saw Florida. it. First off, not during Black History Month. That's Florida, you know, though. That's just for Florida. Yeah, well, just they're just doing that just to irritate Black people. That's why I've always got something to say. People in Florida are just weird. But they're they're just there's Black people in Florida. Too. We already got the that's shortest that's month. Make and then you're going to give first. him a week out of it. We ain't celebrating that bullshit with you. We do it on our own. You see how he's not uh, testifying at his impeachment trial? Why don't they subpoena him? You know what? I don't know, but I, I find it very ironic that the same people like that yo lock lock her up to Hillary Clinton. She sat there for hours doing something and wrong, wrong and, 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 and he is too scared. A whole lot of evidence. So if he don't. If he don't get impeached or whatever the hell, he should go to jail. But if he don't, then that's just another slap in our face. Yeah, they But that also the proves the, the, the two different justice systems that we constantly complain about. Nobody believes us or takes us seriously. Oh, but they they right there. When they have to argue down about pressing charges like that, Kyle. That shot him and how he got built, and he skipped town. Again, it ain't fine for him. Ain't that some shit? Ain't for him. But y'all, y'all let him go. Y'all were so lenient with him, but y'all got this little nine-year-old girl locked in the back seat of a fucking police car, spraying her eyes with mace. But he gets to walk away. But yeah, this is this is just crazy the way that America is right now. This is America, yeah. and it's and it's not even right now. It's been this way. It's always it's been, been this way. This way. But since the land got, was stolen, it just got worse since Trump. Well, it got blatantly obvious. We had, I, I mean, worse. the America. We well, not we, but the Native Americans were slaughtered, and that's where Thanksgiving comes from. Black people were enslaved. I don't think it's just now getting bad. No, I meant how. And we push ourselves backwards too, because we don't support. What it is is there's this false sense of uh, change oh. that that we think things have gotten better. Yeah, sure we have made some little strides, but it's like you know take ten steps forward and then five steps back. And then we can look at it as it's getting worse. Because I think because I think it's blatantly obvious now where like they would do it subtle, they would do it behind closed doors, now it's in your face. The times that we live in now, whereas you know, like we technically wasn't part of slavery, it was our ancestors. You know what I mean? But it, it's always been bad. Yeah. But it, but it also if you think about the timeline of that, we were alive when Big Mama was alive and she was born on the plantation. Alive when Big Mama. Well, we were born and we got to meet Big Mama. Is what I'm saying. I was alive. I don't saying, know we were, were alive. I was born. I met Big Mama. She died when she was 114 years old. But this woman was say, born on a plantation. That tells you that timeline. How recent that was. And her parents were slaves. And her parents were slaves. And so that just tells. And that's our great grandmother, who we actually met. You met her. That was I your. Uh, that was her. your grandma. I was just saying like things. 
just different times with the same bullshit, basically. It's like a, it's a slow moving turtle of progress. And then you have people too in our own community bringing down each other. Oh yeah, it's black oh, yeah, black like, black yeah. men against black women. Yeah, you know it, it's. But if, never gonna, if we so like ever just change. stood together, all us blacks, we could do a lot of stuff. And that's never really, going to happen. We wouldn't really even need no help from no... That's never going to happen. I think we need to be just more in line with, you know, we want to be with good people, in line with good people. Because I think this whole, unfortunately, this black unity thing is never going to happen. But Nationality, if you have a good heart, then I can fuck that's with you. That's Black men don't want, don't want to deal with black women, or a lot of black women don't want to deal with black women, or black men. You know, it's to me, it's just personality. That's what I do. Yeah, that's I go by personality. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh oh. We almost. She like what we saying. She like girl. She like. You know what? We almost over. I'm ready to be done. No, did we say this last week or the week before? Some of your best friends was not your color. I I have some friends. You know. Just saying, just the way they are. I keep acting like that. What's her name? Mary. There's lasers to to set fires in California. <laughs> she yeah. said that the Trumps oh, killed no. Kennedy in that. She said that. She said the Clintons. He, Kennedy. Yeah, the Clintons. The Clintons. Killed him because he was finna run. As you said, a plane him. didn't really hit the Pentagon and nobody. Yeah. But they thought they voted to kick her off all Not the Republicans, oh, though. Republicans that voted to kick yeah, her off. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Good. But it's so really that's bad. Not a mess. Yeah, she, she, some of the stuff she said, she, she's very anti Black Lives Matter. She believes all these conspiracy theories that she thought that she feels like Trump really won the election and mm -hmm. the election was stolen. What's your question, uh, Carlton? Oh, we got questions. Let's see, he has a question. And thank you for participating because he is hitting it. Who? <laughs> it's mom's there, the one you pour water on. Pour the water. That's on. her. <laughs> yes. Oh Lord, to my left. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you got to kick out of You got to kick out of that. Almost baby. died that day. You know what? When when we first did that, it was so funny how you uh, did the little standby, and then like I died. <laughs> and the guys here in the, yes, the funeral guys came for her that day. Yeah, she's right here, fabulous, as always. And she's got that cane ready. Play that. And then, um, do you want to touch on this? Okay. What are you doing with the kid? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Sorry, that was a personal conversation. We were <laughs> You and I, we talked about this uh, privately. So, I have been seeing on uh, social media the word black. You and I was speaking about how um, Busy Bell for Bonus and Harmony said, never, never grow. grow. Remember when we uh, seen that? So, I would like to know though, if we're not black, <laughs> if those don't want to be considered African American because you've never been to Africa. But the one term that would make more sense. I, I, we, we, don't know what are, we are bronze with hair.
There you go. Else I would have been dead. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I, I, I feel like not important because really what's in the constitution what they have us in the constitution as is negroes never grows mm -hmm. it's not black it's not african-american so i feel like it doesn't really matter what you identify as you're still going to be a negro in the constitution yeah mm -hmm. and then you have with that constitution but then also what's crazy is you have to have some kind of identity aside from you being Because we don't have an identity. That's you, we're looking for an identity. That's why. But, no, we this, we this, no, we that, we this, we that. But no, you can't. But you can't just turn the cheek on something that really identifies who you are. Mm -hmm. It's a, aside from being a woman or a man. Mm -hmm. You have your ethnicity. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean. That's our nationality. But our ethnicity, which is like our DNA makeup, would be, I, I guarantee if anybody took a DNA test. It's going to have some African origins. Yes. And I, and I don't see what's so bad about that. Like Africa. I don't see there's one. They're it's messing where with our ancestors. The first people we would have been rich. Walk around hunting our own food and stuff. <laughs> dancing oh, in our yeah. little, yeah. dancing yeah. in our little. Uh, that would be so fun. Uh, daishikis and stuff. Yeah, but I did just want to address that because I'm not saying I'm right, I could be wrong. Not I know, I, I could tell you for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, that if every one of us took a DNA test, we're going to be from different countries in Africa. We're, we're not just from one country in Africa, we're mm -hmm. going to have a mixture of different And there's nothing wrong with that, Africa. that's beautiful. I was in the hood. I'm from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw. Yeah, a lot of people, oh, yeah. and they don't, and they don't like to be identified as black either. No. It needs to be put to rest. Identify how you want. We still all are the same people. Well, we ain't gonna talk about it no more on our show. Put it to rest. Yeah, I, I know what I am. I'm black, and I don't care. But I'm just saying. You have I'm to black, be... African American, whatever you want to call me. I'm you black. don't see the Italians. I'm not. I'm not an Italian. I'm this. You don't see the Chinese people. I'm not Chinese. <laughs> I'm this. You know, you don't see the white people. I am who I am. You know, it's only us. What's up with this? We have no home. We don't know where we're going. I know where I'm from. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. No, I'm, I'm talking, talking about our Chicago. I know my ethnicity. Both my, my, my parents are black. With a little bit of Indian. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Indian. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so we're going to. Um, in the show here, unless you ladies have something else to say. Yep. I said all I need to say. And I want to thank everybody that tuned in. I really appreciate it. And everybody that commented, thank you so much. Thank you. It's the bomb because he commented a lot. Thank, thank, thank you, you for joining us. Thank you, Brandy, and everybody else who watched. I appreciate it. Out there, whether you're black, white, whatever. Love you all. Bye.